Very nice. Wow, this has a good weight to it. So you can see, you do have a micro SD card slot and a reset button here. Your main camera here. This can uh, pan and tilt all around the room. All right, today we're back with another home security camera. This is a indoor PTZ camera, which is actually great to be used as a pet camera. It's from my friends over at Vimtag who sent us a camera one time before and now wanted us to create a video on their Vimtag pet camera. So of course, we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We'll unbox this four megapixel Vimtag camera with pan, tilt, and zoom. Then we'll go through the full setup process within the app and we'll even show you some audio video clips directly from this Vim tag camera. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And let's check out this Vim tag pet camera. All right, so this is our Vim tag four megapixel pet camera. Front says Vim tag cloud IP camera. 4MP, nothing on the top or the bottom. This side just mentions some of the usage. So home security, office security, baby care, elder care, pet care, store surveillance. And you can see Vimtag pet home indoor cam. This side mentions some of the features. So it has a stunning full HD video for recording, playback, and live streaming. Easy mobile Wi-Fi setup with a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. 32 feet of clear night vision at dark conditions. Smart alerts sent to your mobile phone pan, tilt, and zoom, two-way audio, remote control, and view. And uh, then this just mentions the model, the FI-362C, built-in microphone and speaker. The uh, frame rate's 30 frames per second, 32 feet or 10 meters of infrared distance. Only works with a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And the, uh, the pan and tilt horizontal is 350 degrees, vertical at 100 degrees. So let's slide this little sleeve off and let's... Take a look at what we have here. So a little foam on top. We've got the very nice. Wow, this has a good weight to it. So you can see you do have a micro SD card slot and a reset button here. Your main camera here. This can uh, pan and tilt all around the room. These don't do anything just for design. Little Vim tag logo on the bottom and uh, your and your USB type C port on the back to power it. Then we've got a little quick start guide, which will tell you all about the device and how to set it up, which we'll show you here. And uh, this accessories box, which is it for this box. So in here we have the USB-C cable to power it. Looks like a decent link. We'll go over that in a moment. We have screws for wall mounting it. We have a little plate that you'd put those screws in and then uh, this would be able to go on the bottom to wall mount it. And, and they give you a little sticker so you know where to put your holes, nice. And lastly, that for this box, is your power brick to power the camera. So that's a little look at the unboxing. Showed you around the camera already. I think I forgot to mention, there's a speaker here on the side, USB-C on the back, your camera, reset button, micro SD card. So nice camera, feels like good quality from what I can uh, you know, tell by feeling it, but let's see how the app is and the setup process. So I'm gonna clear off my table. We'll get out my Pixel 6 Pro. We'll download this app. We'll show you the setup process. We'll show you around the app and show you some clips directly from this camera. So this here is the QR code you would scan on either your iPhone or Android phone to download the app. And this is the app here. So install this on your phone, log in and make you an account and we'll show you what to do next. So let's see how long this power cable actually is. Very nice. So I'm 5'8". This goes just over my head. So I'd say this is about a six foot power cable. Of course, plug the USB-A side into your power brick. Plug your power brick into power and then plug this into the back of your camera and it should instantly boot up. Set it there. I can see a little red light there on it, so it is booting. It'll probably spin around in a moment. So this is the Vimtag app. We'll just uh, click our little plus sign here in the top left corner and it wants our location while we're configure using, mode. While using the app. Allow. So you just heard it say it's in configure mode. So we should be able to easily find it. We got indoor cameras, pan and tilt. The device is powered on. Next, we'll agree. 
while using the app. So now we'll scan the barcode on the bottom of this camera, which is right there. And there's two ways. You can do it by sound or by QR code. We'll give QR code a try first. So now we'll put in my Wi-Fi password. And now it is preparing that connection that I'll put my Wi-Fi password in. Give it a moment to do its thing. Now it's giving me this QR code. So now I will scan this QR code that's on my screen on my phone with the camera to connect it to my Wi-Fi. Scan QR Connecting to Wi-Fi. There it goes. Connecting to the server. Configure successfully. And there it went. So we'll click next on this screen. I'll just rename it to Pet Camera and finish. And there we go. We are now in our camera. So if I click here, yeah, turn my volume down. It wants us to set up a password. So we'll go into our settings and do that. Enter in our own little admin password, cloud storage, talk later. So if we click here, it brings us into our camera and we've got a few options here. So this is a record button, which starts a recording. I didn't mean to start that, but starts a recording. That takes a video that lets you talk to it. This button will mute and unmute the device. This is for your night vision settings. This is your resolution. So HD standard smooth or auto. And this button will actually take it full screen where uh, you're able to see all of that as well along the bottom here. Now, at the bottom, there is the cloud option or the SD card option. If you put in an SD card and these three dots take you into the settings. So record in SD card settings or help and feedback. We'll go to settings. And so you can see here we have a device upgrade option, your date and time, factory reset, that password I just put in, notification and recording. With an SD card, you can get all day recording or you can set it to scheduled recording. Oh, a record box, interesting. Wow, it can connect to an NVR, that's pretty awesome. Cloud storage, your Wi-Fi settings, flip screen, your sound settings. So we'll put the speaker to 100 as well as the mic. Boot tone, we'll leave that and click save. Your frequency, 60 hertz or 50 hertz. Your video streaming, very nice. And your Alexa options. And then you can also share the device. There is a uh, sleep mode here that you can enable if you want. I would never recommend that. And then device upgrade, is there an upgrade? doesn't look like it. So let's uh, let's make us a uh, photo real quick. Let me do my normal little uh, piece. There we go. It says that image was saved. And then also let me click this button to start the recording. And I'll say button to start the recording. And I'll say this is a daytime audio video test on the Vimtag pet camera. And then I'll just click that button again or it will save that video. An even better bonus is it saved that directly in my Google Photos. Love when that happens. So of course I'll pop in a nighttime audio video test right here. And this is a nighttime audio video test on the Vimtag pet camera. And let me go in another room and we will try out this speaker. This is a speaker test on the Vimtag pet camera. And there you have it. I think that'll do it. All right. And so there you have it. That's a look at the unboxing setup and video quality from this Vimtag pet camera. Now, of course, this can be used for more than pet monitoring. Would be great as a baby monitor, security camera, whatever you want to use. They're just marketing this one more as a pet camera. But I can say the speaker, very amazing. One of the best sounding speakers on an indoor camera that I have heard. Also, very, very clear picture quality, which easily saves to the SD card. I wouldn't recommend the cloud. That's just me. Just buy you an SD card, put it in here, and you'll have all day recording. Outside of that, a very, very smooth app setup, as you were able to see in my video. I did not come across any issues when trying to set up this app or trying to use this device. And the settings on this thing, it had so many settings, even works with an NVR, which is just amazing. Most cameras like this do not do that so i find that to be pretty awesome so thanks again to vimtag who was nice enough to send this to me i'll of course have this exact vimtag camera linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one for yourself so i'll do it for this one click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch we'll see you in the next one deuces